first team to the arena. One of the most successful teams. Scale, LGB are uh, Liquid's heroes as well. And they have both the Spectre and the Gyro to go into the late game. Kuro is going to say hi in the mid. The arrow is going to fly forward. Perfect stun. We're already beginning our lower bracket final right here with the max stun duration. Charles will go down. Weehar is able to laser him. He's playing against a hero who got first blood. It's innately unfavorable to start off this lane, but now he's ahead. This just never ends. The easiest combination of liquids. Just to be able to build up more, get full value out of these sticks already. Stun's coming out on top lane. Kuro getting up a lot of damage. Charles with the great hooks off. X Nova's got that plus 43 damage. And the captain of Team Liquid verifies up, tries to make a break towards the tree line, but it won't work. Turns oh, the instead for the catcher to actually help out Miracle. If you get a couple more bashes, Charles may be in trouble. But all this is happening while the five minute rune's going on. And my control dies down on the bottom lane. FY and Arme. Couple... Spectre clearly behind that of the, the Void. 1500 gold, as a matter of fact. And they're really going on bottom lane with oh, yeah. the Charles March machines. Even a quick sentry ward being dropped down. No invis runes, no shenanigans. Kuro, Charles just jumps in. Mike Charles gets the back line. The arrow flies forward. It won't hit onto the hero, however. This will be LGD under the tier 2 tower with the ET splitter killing off Mike Control. And they found Weeha in the tree line. Hex Nova, he's still staying close with the Zampi. They try and get closer. The face is void. They throw him back. At least get the one man stop. A miracle chasing down Hex Nova inside the tree. FY is nearby. Find a car as well. They might walk into Army. They will. Okay. Here we go. Avalanche toss to begin with. Jumping forward with the Starfall. They have the damage. It's like trying to set up a bait. He's going to run up to the high ground and get caught on purpose, but. Well, Avalanche toss actually sending him back inside the bounce, but not exactly what they wanted, but the five second arrow will connect on Somnus. But this just allows Liquid to disengage or does it? Stampede forward. Moonlight Shadow now burned by Team Liquid. As they turn around to come back once more, Miracle adds Chronosphere up. And they're looking for a target. They find the other Titan. Perch him up with the time locks. My lord, that damage. They didn't have to burn the Chronosphere, but Mind Control. Avalanche toss. FY too far away. He's actually all the time on Miracle. He gets a double Chronosphere. Charles and Rubik both caught in it. Sonic needs to create a little bit more space with the corner. He might be able to do so. Miracle. Time walks back up cooldown once again. Spectral Horn jumping around. Who's he focusing on? He looked for his target for the time walk away. Got Miracle way to safety, but Sonic can at least reach over towards Kuro with that black cannon. Arrow, Chalice, he doesn't care. Harder to use these spells correctly and find the target here. Here we go again. Lane. Avalanche toss, here's your BKB. There's the nine second one down, but Mind Control, he may be the sacrifice. Kuro's gonna give him a little bit of extra time with the disruption. He can't blink himself away from this, and Mind Control will fall. The purge, any kind of disruption, not able to do it. Now Stampede in, Chalice, they're looking towards Kuro. Two of them together, they can't break free. Kuro, he definitely is the sacrifice. He can throw out at least a catcher initiation as we saw her escape from fy before and look how confident chalice yeah. is maybe a bit too much here disruption catcher the arrow is going to connect as well perfect stun they're going to force off him down that's fy hanging in the neighborhood of miracle it's a double chronosphere mind control running with the avalanche but he's walked inside the chronosphere he's done himself up and maybe they don't have the damage anymore as somnus is in the back lines. he'll end up killing of the first casualty of this team fight and the chronosphere stolen of course it is fy is playing around we he caught the big man with the avalanche toss from mind control. Charles and Thomas in some trouble. Tinker gonna buy back into this fight. He knows he needs to do some more damage. Charles is still trying to go ham against mind control. Mind control doesn't have the life for this. Maybe with a toss up, he can push Chalice away. But where is this control? You bought back Weeha, but they can't see on top of him. LGD are all. They're giving it a shot. They have the 30 second window. Time walk away. Miracle, he'll dodge the stomp. Ame's throwing out the dagger, and now hooks on forward, a four-star from GH trying to get Kuro away to safety. He's in close, Miracle trying to storm down with a time dilation, but Kuro's already gone down. LGD's arrived, but man, Miracle's done all the hard work for him. Now Roshan, he has to be uh -oh. contested by LGD. That's really bad news for Liquid. They don't have Chrono for this fight. Good arrow. Oh, five Dude. seconds on the arrow. It's gonna maybe make LGD think twice. They need Tinker behind to put down Martian Machines inside the pit. They need some cover fire to dissuade LGD from being here. Mind Control, he'll go for the Avalanche shots. He didn't have information the road shot. He thought it was probably a lot lower. Arrow, five seconds again over on Chalice. Mind Control, another quick toss. He's gotta get out of there. There's the Martian Machines from Road Shot. Miracle's jump back in again. Road shot. he goes to the radium. Miracle has the Angus, the Immortal. Now trying to battle head to head with Thomas. The PKB in such a low duration. Miracle keeps getting time lock after time lock. He is the master of time. And they arrow and nine to five seconds. They just keep on coming. Mind control hits the Avalanche Centaur. The Stampede on 88 feet. He'll go up the hill and blink towards the shrine. LGD, this is engaging, but they want more. We have, he's blinked the top of the shrine. The chainsaws are going to be there. They're arranged in the sentry wall. That's why they can see them inside the Moonlight Shadow. And why he tries to hit this entire team all by himself. Miracle! to stop the clock, but the Angus will pop, so will we have life, it's a time out from him, GH 
the presence of mind in that moment to steal Avalanche and catch two heroes, one of which was the the Miracle Void going for the Chrono on mind control. He went too far. He just tried to push the lane out. He tried to create space. And LTD. They're thinking if they want to fight. The arrow was thrown out by GH for a little bit of a quick scout. And they still know they're in the trees. But look at this presence from LTD. They understand they need to get the vision. Here we go. Miracle. He jumps in. Hoping Mitzel's going to come his way. He's going to BKB instantly. F5. going to jump himself away as quick as he possibly can with the time walk stolen. He just moves away from the BKB. Miracle. And the Hopstop. Catching Kuro on the back line with the special hunt. Kuro instantly explodes. My control GH. Want to get the hell out of here. Miracle is now the time to actually chronosphere. The Homing Mitzel's are coming in. They're surrounded on all sides. Trying to TP away to safety. Tiny's waiting this one out. Inside the pocket ball. The South Pole will come down with Mind Control. Cancel the TP because F5 gets in range for the Tusk needs its grab. They've already taken GH. Mind Control will do as much damage as he can before death. They found the worst possible target. They found an Elder Titan completely on his own. They can't. Oh, stop this, stop this, stop that. We have. He's gonna go down. Miracle trying to corner to save his life. Thomas protected by the BKB. Miracle needs lock and lock and a lock. Now zero. It's all LGD and F5. He jumps up. He goes towards GH. Sentry wants vision. They have to. GH is going to go down. Down for a minute. Miracle. He jumped on towards the front line too. He's looking for a kill of his own. But what's he got? F5. He actually just turns him around. Miracle. Triggers the strike. BKB TP to way to safety. Kuro. He does not want to die again. Eight is enough for the moment. But I think it might be a nine. He's moving back towards the base. Mind control. Needs to create a little bit of extra space. It's LGD. Think about coming up. Chalice, he won't just think about it. He'll do it. Now with the volley. Chalice, we'll see how much he can take or take. Oh Hell of a God, lot. Sleep actually put him down. There was no volley. A double hook stop. A double double edge. And they'll just keep going half underneath the tier threes towards the tier fours. If they kill the boy, he'll have to fight back. If they want to defend this top leader, Brax, Liquid, they're on the burning ropes right now. Weehar is doing everything he can. Arrow. Yep, able to connect, but then again, stolen out. Chalice jumps himself forward. The defensive destruction actually going to dodge all the abilities and the Storm Sleep. Allowing Miracle just to time walk himself away. And they really, Chalice is like, please, please hit me. I want it. The arrow, a little bit too late. The current speed does come down. Combining with the volley. Mind control from inside the tree line. They get through the Sentinel. That's one upside bottom. And tossing back the Spectre under the tier three. Chalice with another avalanche. They keep the control over on Arme. X Nova wants to put them to sleep and create a little bit more space. Arrow. Yeah, they get another one. Get this out. Our man's waiting without the Aegis. He actually gets his regeneration burn off as well, but the hand of Black Cannon. Gyrocopter hits Kuro down hard. Put him on the time dilation with the laser. Sonos can't attack with the Dago. And Liquid are doing it. They're breaking through the heroes. Rubik as well. You can take on yourself, Tinker, but now with the tree top, one more fly and out. FY. 49 HP is getting away. The arrow's too far off, too. The Shadow Poison. Well, that it does, but he's got 100 HP. Got a low swap up and a glimmer cape as well. They're trying to find him. FY playing up the darn vision. Weehaw's here, but he sees nothing. Now he'll see the Rubik. Observer and Sentry up on the hill. They're going to smoke up. They see Somnus. They'd love to go on him. Chalice is right behind him. Here's your avalanche toss, but then Somnus moves away. Chalice, he also has the back line. He's almost killed Kuro. In fact, he has done so. Mind control so long as well. Somnus, now the Chronosphere. And caught the gyro come to a miracle. He has to kill him in here. Arrow's flying in with the ETs, but a miracle can't finish the jump. He can't get the damage. Come in from Tiny, the Moonlight Shadow. They're trying to escape. GG to defeat the Sentry Ward. FY's wanting to stick around with him while the rest of LGD run forward. They're chasing Miracle. The Homing Missile is after him. G8. Doing here. Time walk away. Uh -oh. As quick as he possibly can, but Somnus has a blink dagger. And now Miracle. BKB versus BKB. No Chronosphere available for either side. Miracle will just time walk off the damage. Finish the TV out. Oh, he's FY! He catches him. And Miracle has got another time walk available for the stun.
pressure being applied against Team Liquid. Chalice with the Aegis, plus a long way in. I love the leap, getting him deep underneath the Tier 4 towers. They're trying to break free him, and maybe they have enough with the volley as well. Mind Control, here he's got trees to work with. They break the Aegis Immortal, Armies in very deep, also at the Tier 4 towers. All three homing missiles to connect on Faceless Void. Fortification, buying time for Team Liquid. Even the Creep Wave is standing its ground. Chrono Sphere, you can see Miracle, he's trying to get closer. They have Sentry Wards down, however, they see him, and he chronos the back line. The Gyrocopter are dying quickly. He's got a disruption. Are you kidding me? FY is just creating so much pain to allow Sunders to rip into Team Liquid. Two on the big close down the Stolen Chrono. Why not? FY. That's the game. Everyone's going down, and no one's getting up from this. LGD. They have just punched themselves. Game one win against Team Liquid. They'll do it the old-fashioned way. Liquid are making it work for it. And there it is, GG. LGD in 52 minutes are able to fight up against Liquid.